On the eighth week of the modular looking at thing my true love gave to me, 2010's Grand Emporium. Uh, 2,182 pieces, cost £132 when it first came out, and you can get it now for about £300. It's one of my favourite exteriors. I think it's absolutely breathtaking. I, I love this. I love, I love the look of this one. This looks like an old, just an old, fucking, what's it called? Mole empor Emporium is the right word. There's another word for it that I can't remember the name of. It looks like Harrods. It looks like how I imagine Harrods. That's what I'm kind of going for, like just a, a posh old fancy shop that you never went in. I like that its name is just Shop as well. That's nice. I like that these letters are just sort of hooked onto a little bit of a, a bendy bar. That's quite a nice thing. My favourite thing about this set has to be the door, which is a uh, revolving door, which I love so very, very much. Oh, that's absolutely stunning. In the windows, you can just see some of the very slight interior. There's a few little hats and stuff on display. Very interior light, this one. Um, I don't think we get really much in the way of... I think we've got one more good interior, and that's kind of it on this series. And on this side, we've got a few little uh, mannequins on this side, just wearing the latest in clothes wear. And it's a corner piece, so that's pretty much nothing. Although there is a little escape door at the back there. It's huge again, so I can't move it back very far. It also has a thing on the top, which I can't show you until later, because it doesn't fit into frame. There's a little sign at the top, but we'll see that eventually. Yeah, it also has a, a little um, thing that the people from Gang Beasts fight in, a little painter cleaner thing. Paint and cleaner thing, yeah, up there. Although it doesn't have a back for some reason. It's a backless paint and cleaner thing. It's for risky paint and cleaner people. Although then that makes the painting and cleasing, e cle cleasing? cleaning easier. Can't speak this morning. Um, slightly weird thing about this one is normally they all stick together. This one's actually not attached. It just sort of sits. I, I thought this one was the fourth one to be released. It's actually the fifth. And other ones don't do this. Other ones just sit properly. I don't know why this one's so loose and weird. Who knows, maybe they had a thing to heal or something, I don't know. Anyway, let's take it apart and see what it smells like. What? Okay, let's have a look at the interior. Not really much interior in this one, but there is this escalator, which I love so very much. I love the way that that's done with the beam stuff. I, I think that's really gorgeous. I really, I do, I do like a good escalator and that's a good escalator. In this corner, we have the, the tightest little changing room in the world with two little cloaks. Put that out of the way, you'll see there's a man in there trying on some trousers. Ooh. Let's give him his privacy. A few little display trousers there. There's the uh, two mannequins that we saw earlier. Uh, a few perfumes and whatevers. Like Debenhams, this. Then there's the hats that we saw. And then from here, you can see the action of the revolving door in a much nicer way. It's very beautiful. I like that very much. We see here, look, this is how it holds on. Instead of it being just the actual individual bits, it just sort of sits in this place. It just sits on top and it hooks that side of them, which is strange. We'll put that side over there and then we'll get the next side out. This side has two plates and some colour. That's it. It's literally, I mean, we get pretty light on the interiors from this point onwards. That's sort of everything. Although the uh, windows are very nice from here. Just seeing those pillars outside them. They're very nice. Stick you over there. And the top floor is some balls, a bike, a little Lego set, which I like. Or it could be just a toy, but I'm pretending it's a logo set. And then this chandelier, which is held on here instead of at the top. So you have this beautiful chandelier. In fact, we could just pop that off. See, that is an incredibly nicely done chandelier. Very nice. Let's try and stick that back on without it all going to tits. How does that go on there? It goes on there like that. Voila. And then on the roof, -da 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 -da, we have the sign. The sign is the uh, little present and a man with a very bored face. <laughs> sort of pixel up, that is. Um, and three little lights pointing at it to light it up during the night. And then just a way of seeing down into the rest of the Emporium. And then there's that thing which just... I've left attached because I'm lazy. But that's kind of it for an interior. It's much more of an exterior build. So, um... Let's build it again. And there it is once again in all its grand Emporium glory. Beautiful set. Absolutely beautiful exterior. Looks super nice on your corners. Um, just a shame that there's no interior, and uh, it's a shame that we're going to have that as a recurring theme from this point onwards. But uh, yeah, that was... I, I love that exterior. I think that's a gorgeous exterior. And also it has a spinny door. So how can I hate anything that has a spinny door? I can't. I'm only human.